Our God is a faithful God. And my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. It happened so quickly that I couldn't believe it. Two friends, Jennifer and Barbara and I were getting together to prepare some food and desserts for an upcoming family bridal shower for my grandson Christopher and his bride-to-be, Flory. I had driven to the grocery store for a couple of needed items. I had just backed out of my parking space and straightened my car to pull forward when I heard a crunching sound. The car across the lane had just backed into my car's rear fender on the passenger side. The young man who hit my car was driving a barreled car. I was in a hurry, he said, and didn't look in my rear view mirror to see that you were directly behind me. Since this accident happened on private property, the police informed me we would have to drive to the police station to fill out the necessary accident form. My insurance company and the other insurance company were notified of the accident. My insurance company gave me the name of the collision shop where I was able to have my car repaired. When the car work was completed, my car looked like me. But there was just one rather large problem. The other insurance company was slow in paying. So, the collision shop said I would have to pay the $1,000 deductible myself. Then my insurance company would be responsible for collecting that sum from the other car owner's insurance company. However, my insurance company also informed me that not only would it take a while for them to collect the sum, but also I might never receive the money. The other insurance company informed me that I could take the insurance client to small claims court. This would be complicated since I live in Tennessee and the accident happened elsewhere. All along, I had been praying for the Lord to come to my aid. My son, Jack, made a couple of phone calls, and so did I. But in the end, Jack and I gave all the credit to God for what ultimately happened. After three and a half months, I received a $1,000 check. I had promised the Lord to give a thank offering when I received the check. So I mailed two checks to two wonderful ministries. Remember, our God hears and answers our prayers. Patricia Mulraney Kowalski So, what do you think about this story? Comment down below and let's share your thoughts.